Earlier, I spoke to Steve Elliott, chief executive of the Chemical Industries Association, and I asked him about the role the sector is playing in the route to net zero. The chemical industry is a key contributor to tackling climate change and achieving net zero. Um, historically, over the past 30 years, we've reduced our, our emissions by 80%. Um, and we're also providing a benefit to our customers. The solutions and the products we provide to them sometimes provide a saving for them of between one and two tonnes uh, beyond that as well. So lots that we've already done in terms of saving and looking to the future, we think you know, we're responsible alongside everybody else, individuals and businesses, um, to tackle this problem. Um, and we think also we provide the key solutions to enable it to, to happen. Why is now the right time to be doing this? The science, the IPCC uh, report uh, earlier in the year, 195 countries signed up to the uh, statement that immediate and significant cuts in emissions were required to keep temperatures below the 1.5 to 2 degree ceiling. The weather. I mean, hot, cold, wet, dry, it does feel like we are experiencing more frequent and more intense uh, weather patterns and their implications and consequences. I think society generally demands it of us, and, and particularly those with a, with a greater stake in the future. And then for business, I think two reasons. One, we're responsible. We have to play our part. We have to reduce our emissions. Two, we provide a lot of the key solutions. And three, in looking at investment for an industry such as ours, capital intensive, investments now will remain relevant through 2030, 40 and 2050. How is the CIA supporting its members on this route to net zero? As CIA, we bring companies together uh, to share intelligence, to share good practice, um, to share and inform individual and collective ambition around this. Um, geographically, our industry is clustered, so we have a lot of chemical businesses in the Humber, North East, South Wales, North West and Grangemouth, you can get a bigger bang for your buck there in tackling um, CO2 emissions by bringing those companies together in clusters through projects that will deliver bigger reductions in CO2 over a shorter period of time. But still some challenges, what are the main ones? I believe the chemical industry is a, is a key solution provider for so many of life's and society's challenges. Um, we've just been coming through a pandemic um, where we've provided those solutions. One of the key challenges for us is, is the transition. Uh, it's a very ambitious transition that our own government has set out here. We can do this. We have um, established a collective ambition to look at halving our emissions by 2034 and a 90% reduction by 2050. What we need is the right amount of hydrogen, the right amount of carbon capture and storage, and the right amount of clean electricity, whether it's wind power or nuclear. Um, so we can do it. We can do even more if the government commits to even more financial support and infrastructure support around those three things.